certain networks require us to have IP addresses on different subnets from 192.168.1. In cases where the first three octets need to be changed, we could take advantage of the integrated web server. Launch a web browser. Enter IP address of the Ethernet I.O. module. The integrated web server should now display. Note, make sure the proxy server on your PC has been deactivated when using this feature. Proceed to the Systems tab. Under the IP settings, you will see the IP address of the Ethernet I.O. module that has been configured. Modify the first three octets in the IP address as 172.18.10 and keep the last octet at 101. The subnet mask can remain the same. Click on Submit. Modifying the IP address of the module in the integrated web server prompts you to authenticate the change. Such a change requires elevated privileges and thus cannot be performed by any user. Thus, by entering in the username as admin and the password as private, we are able to authenticate. Since we clicked on Submit, we immediately see the result of OK and Changed. After modifying the IP address, let's power cycle the module to assure the configuration changes take effect. Having modified the IP address of the module, we must now update the IP address of the computer. By launching the control panel and accessing the adapter settings, make the appropriate changes to the computer IP address such that the IP address resides on the same subnet as that of your Ethernet I.O. module. Now let's validate a successful connection by relaunching the integrated web server at the new module IP address of 172.18.10.101. To assure our IP address changes have taken effect, let's proceed onto the System tab and check the updated IP address which can now be displayed.